Hey guys, Rui here with Naravid for Blender. In this one, we're going to be talking about Quixel Mixer. We will texture a trim sheet in Quixel Mixer, and I'll show you how easy it is. Just very quickly before we start, guys, we have Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. Three tiers, awesome perks, lots of tutorials, decals, critiques, all that jazz. Check the link in the video description and hope to see you there. Thanks. You first need to download Quixel Mixer, which is free. And once you install it, it's going to take a while because you need to download all the libraries of materials and, and mega scans, which takes a while. So, you know, be prepared. You download it, you install it. And once you open it, uh, you need to create a folder, which they call projects and a file, which they call mixes. OK, so I created a trim YouTube here and um, it's a folder. So it's a project. And then I'm going to create a mix, which I'm going to call, you know, uh trim sheet trim sheet youtube one okay whoa wrong language there we go now when you open the program you'll see this plane and if you were to import geo you know you you can switch it in here to 3d assets and then you can load it uh, but we're gonna be using a plane and uh, the reason for it is that we don't need any geo even though we created a trim sheets with uh, geometry we just need the maps so go to layers and we need to download respective maps now we don't need all these we just need the four on the bottom starting from a normal map so i'm just gonna get it done um so you know download the normal download the occlusion and if you don't know how to bake maps, I created uh, tutorials um, on my channel so you can look them up and learn how to bake all these maps in Blender. So look it up if you don't know. So, you know, I'm going to upload these four maps. So normals, uh, AO curvature and ID map. Now you can start texturing it. So we're going to go here to library and in local library, we will switch to smart materials. We will choose some of the materials and simply click on them and they will be added automatically to a scene. So if you're gonna, for example, go with, well, I don't know, something rusty, right? It will cover, you know, the whole sheet. If you wanna remove it, it's gonna get added here in the top. You simply click on this layer and press delete and it's gone, it's that easy. So let's grab something, you know, something interesting, maybe, uh, maybe this aluminium well, there you go that's pretty cool and um, this will like i said cover the whole sheet which is fine because you know this could define our our ground ground level okay ground piece and then we can add something cool like for example this yellow which is plenty awesome um, and um, now we can go here in the bottom to click on the ID map and now you see it disappears. The reason for it is that Quixel Mixer added a black mask in here. So now you can either click on respective color IDs or um, you can go uh, here and press Q and you can actually, um, you know, click on uh, respective panels and this will allow you to, to texture them. So if I wanted to, for example, texture this one, I can, right? Then we can add another mat, and let's say we're going to add some rust to it. So um, let's grab this one, for example, see how it looks. This one's actually pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to uh, drop an ID mask on it, and maybe, um, I'm not sure if it's going to actually fit here, but uh, we could try. So maybe we could try with this panel. It actually doesn't look too bad. And uh, this one it could be a, you know, could be a different color. We could actually drop it in here as well and change this one to rubber so now we can drop it oh by the way what you can do you can actually mix them as well so you know if if you click on the layer you can see that you can first adjust the global opacity of it so you could do something like this which is pretty bloody awesome or uh, you could just go here and you know adjust respective respective stuff right so you know for example color of the sheet you could change to something else so click on this and you know you can make it darker or like really dark right and uh, you know click apply grab this one and make it darker too okay maybe it's something like this and we could change color of this one as well make it really dark this everything becomes really dark and sort of kind of you know almost pale black or like desaturated 
which is pretty cool. And then you can, like I said, you can, you know, play with all these values. You can drop the opacity on the whole thing. So you could just do something like this. And you got this kind of like a pale metal-ish surface, right? So then we can add something, uh, something more. So we could go to rubber. So we can actually search it here. Let's grab some rubber, okay? So maybe this one. Uh, let's drop it on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's drop the filter on it. Come on. Not the mask, that's not what I wanted. Filter, there we go. And we're going to uh, drop it in here, okay? Uh, we might actually drop it on these as well. Uh, we're gonna make it a bit darker though, so. Um, let me see that. Uh, maybe this one as well, could be rubber-ish. And also the pipes could be actually fiberglass, you know? Let's grab this fiberglass back this one right so we could grab this fiberglass uh, conceal that and press Q and just you know select all the pipes have the fiberglass and there you go this top is a little bit you know it's a little bit maybe too um, too too pale so maybe we can just you know drop the opacity on it a little bit more to make it a bit you know so kind of like a dusty sort of um, dirty metal you know it looks pretty bloody amazing thanks to the curvature map you get all these where you know worn edges and stuff uh, ao etc it looks really amazing so now we can export the map so you just go to export and you can choose all the maps here that you need i will need metalness for sure for my um decal machine and you know you you can export also custom map like rma maps uh for you know game engines and then you just have to specify, you know, different values in here, like roughness, AO, and metalness. Uh, so, for example, here I would be going for AO. But like I said, it depends on the, on the game engine. Um, this is probably going to be roughness, green, and then metalness here for Unreal. And, you know, you probably don't need specular or diffuse, but you might keep them if you want to. Um, displacement, either I don't need it, but, you know, all these I will need for decal machines. So, once you're done, uh, you select the folder here where you want to export it, and you simply click export, and you're done. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did, and I'll catch you in the next video.